Tonight, I am out front of Jackson High School, where this week, residents and others voiced their opinions on a trustee member's tweets. In a meeting held to swear in two new officers and elected leadership positions, the focus from those who attended turned to something unrelated to school. Two tweets sent out in December from her personal account. One from mid-December that you can see in the screen. Trustee Keisha Hamilton says, quote, Whiteness is so evil. It manipulates, then says, I won't apologize for my dishonesty and trauma-inducing practices and thinks you should applaud it for being honest about its ability to manipulate and be dishonest. A second tweet was sent earlier in December from her personal account to a response of a man saying black male alone raining foggy hiking you write the rest of the script to which she responded the last thing you have to worry about is an animal though that could be a very real threat more dangerous are any white folks you may see on the trail be safe some people in attendance called for hamilton's resignation she accused others for attempting to divide this community this is exactly what she wants this is why she is here it is not for the students, the district, or the community. It is for her fame and notoriety and the intentional distraction from the great work that this district does. These posts were made to incite and divide with no explanation of her supposed intention until after she incited all this anger. She knows exactly what she's doing while others came out in support of Hamilton. I know it's important to be able to have these kinds of discussions in the classroom. It's important to be able to have these kinds of discussions at the faculty level and also here with the board. So I hope that you don't dismiss her comments. I hope that you don't represent her as evil, but she brings something that's vitally important to us and I appreciate that. Thank you, Keisha. <laughs> The meeting drew in about 100 people. School officials made the decision to bring in uniformed police officers for protection. Hamilton explained what she meant by her tweets by saying whiteness is a construct, a normalization with a foundation in white supremacy as referenced by the murder of George Floyd, the massacre of black residents in Buffalo, New York, the attempted kidnapping of Governor Whitmer, the January 6th insurrection, and inconsistencies with the criminal justice system. The real issue is not actually about me, and I realize that. What I am experiencing publicly as a black woman is what many of our black students and other vulnerable and marginalized groups are experiencing privately. The national temperature is at a boiling point and this type of bullying, intimidation, gaslighting, ignoring and attempting to silence that we have seen for a very long time not only from individuals outside of this county, but also from this board table, is what's causing our educational system to fail here in Jackson. At the end of the meeting, other board members spoke on what happened and are ready to move forward. We have a lot of work to do. We can only address these issues if we can come together, agree to disagree, understand, Take the time to ask those clarifying questions. At the fundamental level, our actions, our words, our beliefs should come from a place of love. Your Jackson Neighborhood reporter, Joe Gebhardt, Fox 47 News.